everybody. It's Tracy's Tuesday talk, but it's Tracy and Justin's Tuesday talk. So um, we're here together today because, you know, it's November 3rd and uh, 2020, and it's a, it's a big day in the world, even though it's more of a big day for the people in the U.S. And so I want to start us off by saying, love your neighbor as yourself. And that was one of Jesus's biggest commands for us. And, um, and today, I think we just need to be more, very, very intentional about doing that, loving our neighbors to the south of us um, with all our might and soul and strength um, because of everything that they're going through. So it's, it's a heated election. It's a stressed election. It's a contentious election. It's divisive. And I think a lot of that anxiety crosses the border as well yes uh, into these into these covid times and everyone is is feeling the added anxiety yeah uh, of that for sure yeah i agree with you you know we're we're stressed enough with dealing with an ongoing pandemic that doesn't seem to end or want be wanting to end um and then to add this heated um situation this heated election to it it's just got to be tenfold for the people in the States. Yeah. And so, and I have to admit that I am just as guilty as everybody else, I'm assuming there's other people other than me, in, in saying better than us kind of thing, right? And, and, and being a little bit complacent, not complacent, but making fun of them a little bit, right? Saying, well, it's, you know, I'm too bad for you kind of thing. But, right. but when, it real, when the rubber really hits the road, um, we, as people of faith and not, we need to, we need to really understand that people are suffering. Yeah. Yep. And, and we've heard through this pandemic, so the adage that, that we're all in this, all in this same boat, um, uh, are all in this together. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and yeah, that's, that is the case certainly in Canada, in Alberta, in, in Calgary, in our, in our own places and spaces. Um, but that extends across uh, international borders as well as mm -hmm. uh, as well as beyond our own uh, our own bubbles as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, so we ha we have heard from some of our U.S. friends um, that they're stressed. We have heard that they are worried about violence. We have been we heard from a couple of people that are living in the states right now that are saying that they are being told to stay in their homes for four to five days after the election because there's going to be violence, there's going to be rioting, there's going to be looting, and so um, to live in that kind of fear um, has got to be awful for a democratic country that you know we're supposed to be civilized people. Um, it's it's heartbreaking, really. Yeah. Yeah. And it's scary to think when we talk about, oh, we've come so far mm -hmm. uh, and that we hear these uh, these concerns. Yeah. Yeah. And we question whether, you know, why should this still be happening in 2020? Yeah. Right. So, I mean, there's layer upon layer as to why. Um, but I think today, let's just keep our southern neighbors in our hearts and our prayers. Um, yeah. Do you have anything more to add about that? No, I'm I'm right there with you. Yeah. There's uh, there's lots going on in 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 our lives, in our places and spaces, and in our world, um, and we we commit to that that path of peace and mm -hmm. that that hope for uh, for mercy and justice and love to to cover over all. Yeah. Um, especially in in the first part of November, where that's that's very prevalent and poignant uh, in our minds, and and it ought to be. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And uh, and yeah, yeah. Whether it's in whether it's in the U.S., whether it's in Canada, whether it's in our own homes, yeah. um, we pray that uh, that for that peace and, and for an end to to the violence that we unfortunately have to admit uh, that does still exist in the world. Yeah. Uh, and as people of faith, we uh, we bring that to mind. Yeah. Um, in word and in deed and in action and in, in mm -hmm. intention and how we mm -hmm. how we live out our our faith to make those things uh, to make those things possible right yeah awesome thank you we're going to end with a prayer from nadia boltz weber she uh, sends out a prayer for for folks on sundays normally mm -hmm. and so this one is very poignant and very uh tell well it's honest and raw for this this election day so i invite us into a time of prayer let us pray dear god this week is a doozy 
If anxiety produced a sound, it would be, a def it would be deafening right now. Open my ears to the sounds I need most. The wild geese overhead. Aretha Franklin's Amazing Grace from 1972. The sound of my friend on the other end of the phone. The sugar high laughter of children who need us to dial down the doom. If fear could be seen, it would be obscuring everything else. Open my eyes to the sights that I need most. My puppy underfoot with a toy in her mouth, ready to play. The brightening of my neighbor's eyes under their mask when I pass them in the stairwell. That sidewalk covered in an, in an oak tree's fallen leaves like nature's confetti. If sorrow could be tasted, the bitterness would overcome me. Open my mouth to the sweetness I need. Words of kindness, deep unhurried kisses, and absolutely as much Ben and Jerry's as I deem necessary. Help me to remember that you are in, you are in the other side of Tuesday, no matter what. Amen. Amen. Today, our neighbors to the south need our prayers, and uh, we need to lift them up. So let's do that. Have a great week, everyone. <laughs>